From getting ready to hang up his hat as John Dutton in the hit series, to feeling excited about his upcoming Western projects, here's how Kevin Costner really feels about leaving Yellowstone. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like fans will have to say goodbye to John in the upcoming season. According to multiple sources, Costner is simply refusing to work. Apparently, some major drama has been happening behind the scenes ever since filming for season five started. Let me give you all the details. Costner has requested that all his scenes for season five, part two, be filmed in one week. It's no wonder why the production is ready to drop this guy. How can you rush the scenes of the main lead? Imagine how much this would affect the quality of the season. But Kevin doesn't care about that. All he wants to do is say goodbye to this franchise as soon as possible. Do you know why he's in such a rush? It's all because he overbooked himself. Costner has so many projects lined up that he has no room for Yellowstone. He's directing and starring in Horizon, which is a Western movie series. And if that wasn't enough, Kevin has agreed to do a documentary series for the History Channel. Good luck getting this guy back on the Yellowstone set. That's not all. Costner has also been getting into fights with showrunner Taylor Sheridan. Everyone knows that these two aren't big fans of each other. But now, things have gone from bad to worse. So much so that Costner and Taylor are refusing to work together. What are these two arguing over? To cut the long story short, literally everything. Kevin thinks that Taylor is acting all high and mighty because he has a little fame. In an interview, Costner said that he doesn't like that some people in production have developed a god complex. On the other hand, Sheridan hates that Costner repeatedly criticized the direction the show is going. There's even rumors that Kevin won't come back for filming until he approves of how Taylor wants him to die in Yellowstone. To no one's surprise, Costner's representative denied all these allegations and labeled them as lies. Paramount Network has also put out a statement clarifying that there's no bad blood. True or not, it seems that Kevin can't catch a break these days. You guys want to know why? Well, because his wife, Christine, has filed for divorce. Things are really not looking up for the Hollywood vet. Days after the news broke out about Kevin's alleged feud with Sheridan, Page Six reported that his wife of 20 years has filed for divorce. To say that fans were left shocked would be the understatement of the century. The announcement came out of nowhere. It was believed that these two were really happy together, but it turns out that wasn't the case at all. According to the legal documents, Christine has claimed irreconcilable differences as the reason for the separation. But TMZ talked to a close source, and they've claimed that the actual reason is that Christine is done with Costner's long working hours, to such an extent that she gave him an ultimatum. Either he stopped working on so many projects or she would leave him. The actor clearly didn't take his wife's threat seriously. The source has also said that Kevin was blindsided by the whole thing. It's also been reported that he's doing everything he can to save his marriage. Some people seem to think this might be one of the reasons Costner is happy to leave the show. All this drama with the main lead obviously has fans worried about the future of Yellowstone. The head of the Dutton family has come under a lot of fire, mainly from fans who can't understand his selfish behavior. One viewer tweeted that he's been watching the show ever since it premiered, but now he can't believe that his favorite character is leaving like this. Everyone knows that more than half of those who watch Yellowstone only do so because of Costner. So with news of his departure circulating, fans don't know what to expect. Everyone thinks that Yellowstone won't get a proper ending. To be honest, I don't see that happening, especially when you look at how popular the show is. There's no way that Paramount will leave Yellowstone on a cliffhanger. On the other hand, some viewers don't mind that Costner is moving on. They understand that the show has gotten boring lately and that Kevin's making the right move by leaving. Nothing has been set in stone yet. As mentioned earlier, Paramount and Kevin's camp have denied the whole thing. No official confirmation has come from anyone, but you know who's been dropping subtle hints in their interviews? Even since this drama started, the entire cast of Yellowstone. It looks like Kevin's co-stars are ready to say goodbye to him. In an interview, Wes Bentley spoke about how he can definitely see John meeting his maker this season. Not only that, but the actor who plays Jamie Dutton also said that the characters are always ready to die. 
Josh Lucas, who plays young John in the show, said that Sheridan is amazing at what he does. So if John were to die, it wouldn't be hard for the writers to take the show in a new direction. On top of all this, Don Olivieri was also asked about Kevin's departure. If you guys don't know, Don plays Sarah Atwood in the show. The actress said that nothing lasts forever. I guess Kevin's co-stars are really done with his behavior. But wait until you hear about what Moses Brings Plenty had to say. When asked about the departure rumors at Paley Fest, he shut down the conversation as soon as it started. Moses told the press that none of the actors have any idea about what's going on behind the scenes and that all of them have a lot of respect for Costner. But enough about Kevin's departure. Let's talk about what the plot for part two of season five can be. According to multiple sources, the first few episodes will focus on John dying. Nobody knows for sure how Taylor plans on sending off the main lead, but honestly, there are a lot of ways the head of the Dutton family could die in the show. He could get into a car accident or suffer from a heart attack, or he could die protecting Beth Dutton from Jamie's plot. If you guys don't remember, the first part of season five showed us that Jamie is ready to hire an assassin to kill Beth. So a father dying while protecting his daughter seems like a reasonable plot twist. Plus, it'll also make the show much more exciting. And with her father out of the way, Beth could finally show her true side to the world and deal with Jamie however she likes. Not only that, but fans are curious to see who'll end up taking over the ranch. Apparently, the writers are trying to wrap up all the storylines in just six episodes. They want to make sure that everyone gets a happy ending. A piece of advice to the viewers, don't keep your expectations too high for this season. Still, if Yellowstone does have a disappointing ending, fans can watch its spin-offs instead. There are so many of them. 1883 and 1923 go back generations. They showed the Dutton family when they were starting out. Both spin-offs are pretty intense. 1923 has Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren starring in it. These two are Hollywood royalty, so you know that they would never agree to work on a lousy project. There's also a spin-off in the works that has Matthew McConaughey as the lead. It's untitled as of now, but it'll pick up right where Yellowstone finishes. And there are even rumors that some of the original cast will be a part of it too. It's set to come out in December 2023, so fans should definitely mark their calendars. But if you're a diehard Costner fan, and for you these spin-offs won't feel the same without him, don't worry. You can watch his upcoming Western project, which he's very excited about. Costner has very big plans for the future. The Hollywood vet is making his directorial comeback after nearly 20 years. He's been working on Horizon and American Saga, which, like I mentioned earlier, is a Western film project. The franchise will consist of three films. Nobody knows exactly what the upcoming saga will be about, but according to rumors, it'll center around the pre- and post-Civil War expansions. The films will also cover the land's indigenous community and the challenges they faced over the years. It sounds like Yellowstone, doesn't it? We'll just have to wait and see. So there you have it. From feeling excited about his upcoming Western projects to getting ready to hang up his hat as John Dutton in the hit series, that's how Kevin Costner really feels about leaving Yellowstone.